Hello, everyone. You are tuned into twitch.tv slash bedsores, coming to you live from my sick couch in the Chronic Illness Autonomous Zone. I'm your host, Alyssa, here with my co-host and transcriptionist, Earl. She's right here. Let's get some rest today. Welcome to Kokontozai Eto Monogatari, a 1994 game by Visco Corporation, known for such hits as Vivid Dolls, Captain Toma Day, and Stagger One, aka Red Hawk. But yeah, this is another Visco joint. Uh, Gooey Gylophone says penis. Interesting. This is a match three game with a couple of twists. It does not require you to have things in a single column. You can have things to the left or right. Puyo Puyo thrives on how much flexibility you get with four pieces. And the game designers here, in making it with three pieces, made a couple of interventions to see, to make this sort of a dynamic experience. Sort of Tyson Puzzle Dama stacking without the bubbles. Or, you know, Puyo Puyo minus one. So we'll see how this goes. Max credit limit is nine. Gotta dream bigger. Once a pot of time, Chinese Zodiac story. The cat who wanted to become part of the Chinese Zodiac. Oh, damn. Sufjan Stevens would love this. So these little treasure chests are blocks that will be cleared when I clear the little bubble blocks. I get sent some garbage. The garbage has little faces on it. Even sending one thing will trigger. Oh, and you can match four treasure chests together to clear them. Since this game's title is, as Wamba pointed out, sort of a beginning of a mythological story, we can take the sort of focus, heavy focus on calligraphic uh, kanji presentation to be a I'm telling you an old story about a kitty cat. Oh no, you can just match three of the chests if you want. Fascinating. But it doesn't do anything. Oh, I do have two-way rotation. I didn't expect that I did. Garbage isn't cleared by the bubble blocks, just the chests. We've lost. What's going on with the One Piece preview? Yeah, so fascinatingly, there is a single piece preview that is shared between both of us. Why? I don't know. I don't think it does very much. It does limit your ability to make predictions and reward faster play, I suppose. Okay, that's still fine, as long as I get my fucking green piece. Gotta fuck up with the boat or something. Is that what green piece did? Oh, I can't double tap the swap? Maybe that innovation hadn't been sort of developed in puzzle circles yet. So my guess is that we're going to fight 12 bosses, existing parts of the Chinese Zodiac. Mm -hmm. Garbage passes through, that's fine. Not gonna complain. With a game like this, the advanced computer players will know, and we should know, that the goal is to build vertically. When you build vertically, you can sort of sneak things in on the side. I won't be doing that a lot of the time, simply because I'm not good at following good advice. So there's so much about this presentation that is just darling. Immediately a well-explored theme all over the place, right? The floral backgrounds are gorgeous. A rice paper screen behind things. It's part of like a traditional story. The altar in the middle of the screen from which the second piece preview comes. I wouldn't say that the music is hoinky spoinky, but it is a little doinky, you know what I mean? Interestingly, once the place where the pieces usually spawn is filled up, the game will just auto-spawn in a different column. So you only die when your board is completely, 100% filled up. I know I should just be making a sandwich in a Puyo Puyo sense, but I just love straying from God's light every chance that I get. At least God has infinite grace for you. Yeah. If that wasn't the case, I'd be fucked. The character portraits are responsive to the environment. All the garbage graphics are character specifics. I don't know what's up with the little blue guy though. The little, uh, little ninja guy. 
to let you complete the combo. That's a dub, baby. Look at that s Mom. In honor of this cow bitch that we're fighting against right now. The little drool. Back to this sultry cow. I don't see her as sultry. The cow is shocked. The cow blocks that we get sent, they're very good, yeah. The cows sometimes put on sunglasses. And they look in the direction of where the garbage clared. Clared? Cow mad. Sorry, babe. Lumberon, welcome in. Hi. Is this a Genesis game? It's got a bit of that FM synth twang. I don't know what the hardware this is running on is. It's practically Genesis hardware. Same processor and sound chip, but it's a Taito board. What's the... What does that mean, dude? What does that face mean? Die! Sorry I made you into a rug, man. I have to hurt a rabbit. Sussy, I'm sorry. The some of the little bunnies have ribbons. It's very nice. The death spiral. What? I won? Why? Sorry, bunny. A seahorse? Look at his pregnancy! So clearing chests does give a little bit of garbage, but it seems like they're more valuable to keep around. Can I have that green, please? Alright. That should be something. Great. Yeah, that's more than something. Snake. Ah, and it's racist. Oh, we won. Okay. Wait, we had a horse and now a seahorse? I'm confused. Ooh, the music has changed. Oops. All right, you fucking horse. You got fine, fine, fine. All of the touches in this game, the falling pedals, the way that the game over screen isn't just the English words game over and just runs away from you. The calligraphic complexity, these lovely painted backgrounds. This game's beautiful. I didn't really get into the gameplay that much, but this game's beautiful. This has been twitch.tv slash bedsores coming to you live from my sick couch in the chronic illness autonomous zone. We've been your host Alyssa here with our co-host and transcriptionist Daryl. Take care and do your best. It does seem like you can take two in a row. Yeah, that's just a Saturday night for me. <laughs> okay, yep. Hold on. Why is there a video called when you have to finish your homework in less than one hour? That's one hour and 48 minutes long. What are pronouns for if not making people feel bad? <laughs>